Mr. David, welcome back to Fun Fridays. Today I got a very special holiday edition of my Fun Fridays, and this is Fun Fridays with Friends. Now I had Miss Jody invited here to be my special friend and my assistant as we do a science experiment today, but at the last moment Jody was not available. But she said she'd send me a very special friend. And she said all I have to do is sing a song. Well to sing this song I'm going to get in the holiday mood. So first, now I'm in a holiday mood. I guess I have to sing to you to get my special friend here. So here I go, ready? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, I barely got into the song, and look who's here. Mr. David, how Mr. are you? Mr. Santa Merry Claus. Christmas. Welcome to Fun Fridays with Friends well, today. thank you for inviting me. We do an episode about once a week or once every other week, and a lot of them we do, one of my favorite subjects is science. Oh. I come from a family of teachers, and I kind of miss my calling getting to park and recreation. So with my job, I like to teach, and I love science. So today we're going to teach the kids about, like, forming a hypothesis. What's that? Well, kids, a hypothesis is uh, an experiment is performed to a predetermined question. A scientist will make a prediction on the outcomes of the experiment based on what he already knows, and that is a hypothesis. So my assumption is... So the hypothesis is the prediction. Prediction. Okay. And you base your prediction on what you already know about something. Now, my assumption today that we're doing is that candy canes will dissolve in a liquid. So I've got three different liquids here. I've got one liquid which is hot water, one liquid, which is cold water, and one liquid that's vinegar. Mm -hmm. And so what I know about science, I know a little bit, just enough to make me dangerous, is I know that water is a soluble solvent. And water is probably the universal um, uh, solvent because it's capable of dissolving more substances than any other liquid in the world. So, so my guess or my hypothesis is going to be that one of the waters will dissolve the candy canes first. Now I don't know about waters, it's made of H2O, which is the hydrogen and oxygen atoms, and when water is heated it stores energy. And that energy inside that moniker little atoms are moving fast, moving fast, moving fast. So it's my hypothesis that the hot water will dissolve first then I'm pretty sure the cold water will dissolve second because the cold water is also water, which is the universal solvent. But vinegar is not a universal solvent. And I think vinegar will be third place because vinegar is actually made up of four different molecules. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a try. We're going to try to put these all in here at about the same time. There's the hot water. There's the cold water. And there's the vinegar. And what they want to do is we want the kids to do this at home and to follow our lead. So try to get glasses. You want to make sure the water le liquid level is pretty much the same in all the glasses so that your experiment's done fairly. Then you got the hot water first, cold water, vinegar. You can see the cold water, that's forming condensation already on the glass. I can draw my finger on there and you can probably see that on the camera. Yeah. Look how fast this is working. That, the water is starting to turn red in the hot water. It's not really turning into cold water and not, well, it's, actually the dye is coming off in the vinegar. So the, the dye is the red stripe? Yep, the dye is the red stripe. So it's reacting to the acid that's uh, etched in the sugar. But oh my gosh, it's, it's, I was correct thinking that the hot water, because that stored energy from the heat, is really working on that sugar and helping dissolve the sugar. Now the molecules in the water glass, when water freezes, it gets really close together, those monocles, and they hold tight, so there's less surface tension on it. So, This experiment, kids, you can try it at home. Like I said, it's real easy to do. We're not going to sit here and watch till they all disappear, but it'll probably take 15, 20 minutes. But as you can see, this candy cane in the first glass, look at that. It's, the stripe is already coming off. And this it's one's dissolving. red. That one's just a little bit pink. Uh-huh. What will be interesting to see is that as the time goes on to see which one follows. So, But I just want to give the kids an idea during Christmas break or the holiday break of a science experiment they can do when they're away from school. Hit it too, they're doing it the fastest. There's the vinegar. It's slowly losing some of the color. But the hot water, 
and there's hardly any color, just a dash of color at the bottom of the cold water. But there's no red left and the candy's starting to disappear. But the vinegar is eating down the hard yep. candy. Yep. Because the, the dye that they use on that's getting dissolved by the acid, I bet. And I wanted to let people know of a very special thing coming up that you're helping us with. We are doing a Santa's Paw, Santa Paws here at the Lewis Community Center on Saturday, um, December 4th from 10 to 12 p.m. So you can bring your dog down here, get a picture taken with Santa. So please join us. The best part is it's free. And we're going to post the pictures to our La Vista um, Facebook and people can go on and download their own picture that we've taken with their pets. So appreciate you coming down and helping us with that too. So thanks for joining with me. Well, happy holidays. Fun Fridays with friends. Happy oh, holidays. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm just amazed at how fast that's gone. And you can't see the red stripe coming off, but the candy's still intact. Science is fun.